and throughout the Delaware Valley, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News Nightcast. The Stones, rolling on steel wheels, open a major U.S. tour. And the full house they rock tonight at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Good evening, I'm Steve Bell. Many consider them the world's greatest rock and roll band, and many consider Philadelphia the home of rock and roll. It's a match made in music heaven. And tonight, the Rolling Stones are solidifying that musical union. Veteran Stadium is filled to capacity tonight, as you can see from this live picture from Skycam 3. The Stones will soon wrap up a hard-driving concert of rock music under the stars in South Philadelphia, setting the pace for a 29-city North American tour. The playing fields covered with thousands of seats and a massive stage 110 feet high towers over the audience. Our Jerry Penicoli has been taking in the sights and sounds at the vet, and he joins us now live from the stadium. Chair? Well, Steve, the sights and the sounds are pretty incredible here tonight. Rock and Roll's most enduring band, the Rolling Stones, kicked off their North American tour right here in Philadelphia tonight, right here at Vet Stadium, and the concert is still going strong. Now, the Bad Boys of Rock, despite their age, gave a pretty awesome performance tonight, and they're still giving that performance. They started things off with the Stones classic, Start Me Up, and it started with a bang. They did other songs, other classics like Ruby Tuesday, Honky Tonk Woman, uh, the song that you just heard, Start Me Up, the only song the Stones people would let us videotape tonight. Uh, they also did a lot of new songs from their uh, new Steel Wheels album. They did Sad, 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 Mixed Emotion. Again, there are more songs to come because the concert is uh, far from over, I have a feeling. It started at 9.30 this evening, and it is going strong even as we speak. Now, there was one technical snafu during the song Shattered. The sound just stopped. The problem lasted for only five minutes. The crowd stayed very calm, and then Mick came out and said, well, you know, the setup here is made up from uh, parts of the shutdown JFK Stadium. He quipped that in the audience. Lap. Despite the problem, though, the fans didn't seem disappointed at all. Absolutely fantastic. They put on a super, super show. This is a very well-mannered, composed concert. It's the best around. The people are great, and I love the Rolling Stones. I love Living Car. I just love Philadelphia. Yeah, what do you think of the concert? It's great. What about it? It's dynamite, and I don't even know them, and I like the concert. Now, earlier today was like a carnival here at the Vet. The fans gathered very early and were partying in the parking lots and everywhere else around here. Trudy Haynes reports now on the pre-concert, rocking and rolling. By the time today's sound check got underway at Vet Stadium, fans had started already gathering in parking lots on the streets around Vet Stadium, waiting for the bad boys. Now, nine years and 32 albums later, the Stones are back with a reunion that also brought back fans from across the country. With the closing of uh, JFK over there, they, uh, we were all set to go to Buffalo, plans to get tickets, and uh, all of a sudden Philadelphia stole the show. The tour also united Mom 40 plus and her daughter, 17. Uh, How did you get your daughter to come? I begged her. Oh, no, you didn't. No. Uh, you, you know anything about the Stones? Yes, of course. Glad to be here. Yes. Stones, Stones. The scene became a familiar one as the hour approached. With the wares on display, the camaraderie in motion, the mood was set for steel wheels to roll. And that's the way it went when the Stones rolled into Philadelphia for the Steel Wheels concert. This is Trudy Haynes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News Nightcast. And as we look at live pictures of the concert high above Veterans Stadium, South Philadelphia from Skycam 3, we have to take note that this is not only a night of music in Philadelphia, but a night of rock and roll history as the Rolling Stones open their North American tour 
right here in Philadelphia. A night to remember, that's for sure. I'm Jerry Panicoli reporting live from the kickoff of the Steel Wheels Tour in Philadelphia. Steve, back to you. Okay, Jer, sounds like they've got their decibels up. Thanks. Turning to other news tonight, a look at tonight's Rolling Stones Steel Wheels concert at the Bet. Good night. Captioning for Nightcast is about crowd heard some old favorites and a roundup of songs from the Stones' newest album. I am so that one's called Sad, Sad, Sad from the new album. The Steel Wheels were on a roll as Mick Jagger set the pace for the stone. The crowds coming to hear the stones sing are not the typical rock concert audience. As Channel 3's Robin McIntosh shows us tonight, the stones make music that crosses the generation gap. Yeah, right. Rolling Stones, 1969, 1989. Heavier and 20 years older than they were in the 60s, but fans of the Rolling Stones, more used to making mortgage payments and buying concert tickets, rocked into the vet tonight. He's my age. He makes me feel good. I love him. Rock and roll forever. Yeah! In the 60s, they arrived in convertibles. Tonight, they came in station wagons. Marilyn Corman brought her 16-year-old son, Andy, both anxious to see Mick and the boys. I've seen him with Peter Tosh. Uh, who else have I seen him with? Stevie Wonder. And now you're bringing your son. And here he is. Here's my 16-year-old son. This is his you're first right. time. The fans aren't the only ones a little older. The Rock's bad boys are now middle-aged men, but they're still the Stones. Since everyone else spent the night sharing the stones with the next generation, so did I. My 15-year-old daughter, Caitlin, a Cure fan, tonight, a Stones fan. They play music that everyone can listen to. No matter how old. Right. Even your dad. The music may be 20 years old, but like an old friend, once you hear it, it's as new as today. Across all generation lines, they're exciting, they haven't aged a bit, oh my goodness. and um, you know, they make great music, they're very creative. Do you think they do cross the generational lines? Oh, definitely, it seems this is evidence of it. There's something a little weird, a little eerie even, about singing the same songs you sang 20 years ago, especially with your daughter, but that's the beauty of rock and roll and the beauty of the Rolling Stones. They span the world, they span the generation gap. They're cool. They're awesome. They're cool. They're awesome. They're cool. At Veterans Stadium, I'm Robin McIntosh, Eyewitness News, Nightcast. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> She's right, Robin. Still ahead, Ling Ling's newborn has...